This is Natalia from the IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and it's time for the new IntelliCAD 11.1 release review. IntelliCAD 11.1 is our second feature release in 2022, which contains several additions to existing functionality and a few new commands too. First, the ability to export DWG files with AEC objects to the IFC file format was added in IntelliCAD 11.1. Just open the drawing you want to export and use the new IFC export command. And now let's import that IFC file so you can see the results. The new live section command turns on and off live sectioning for a selected section plane entity. Also, command line versions for commands beam attach and IFC import were added. Let's move to the tables functionality. First of all, tables can be imported using the XLS import command or import command when XLS and XLSX file types selected. You can also select a particular sheet if more than one exists. Multiple table cell selection was improved. Click a column or row header to select the whole column or row and select a cell then use shift plus arrow keys or crossing window for multi-select. Three new options were added for merge cells, merge all, merge by row and merge by column. Block insertion functionality was added to the table cell context ribbon tab, where you can select a block from the list of existing blocks in the drawing or press the brass button to insert another drawing. Also, scale, rotation angle, and cell alignment properties could be specified in the Insert block in the Table Cell dialog box. To edit an inserted block, just double-click on it. Also note that T-Insert command provides a quick and easy alternative for inserting blocks rather than navigating that process through the table functionality. When a selected cell contains more than one item, the Manage Content button is enabled so you can change the order and direction of cell content. All functionality from the Table Cell Contextual Ribbon tab, including Block Insertion and Manage Content, is also available in the Edit Table Cell command. Users have requested enhancements for Printing and Publish. And IntelliCAD 11.1 delivers custom paper size functionality for the PC3 files. To access it, press the Properties button, switch to the Settings tab, select the Custom Paper Size menu item, and press the Add button. In the Open dialog, you can create a paper size from scratch or select from the list of existing paper sizes. On the next page, you can change the width and height for the new paper size, as well as specify units in inches or millimeters. Set the margins to define the printable area, then name the new paper size and the PMP file where it will be stored. Now this new paper size is available in the list of custom paper sizes and can be edited or removed. User interface was simplified for the PDF export and publish dialogs. In the export to PDF dialog, all properties were separated to general and advanced for easier access. Also, you can select the sheet you want to export. In the publish dialog, a new Add Sheets dialog appears when you click the Add button. In this dialog, you have two options to choose from a list of models layouts that are missing from the sheet list, but located in drawings that are already referenced in the Publish dialog when the drawings already in the Publish list radio button is selected, or to select the other drawings to load a new drawing. All drawing layouts and models display in a tree view, and you can conveniently select, deselect required models and layouts. Also, you can sort what to show in the list. Model and layouts, only models, or only layouts. 
drag and drop is now available in the publish dialog to add DWG files to the sheet list. Just drag a drawing file from the Windows Explorer directly into the Add Sheets dialog. Also, this dialog includes a plot stamp checkbox when publishing to PDF. And talking about user interface additions. In IntelliCAD 11.1, you can define a home view for the view cube using the set current view as home item from the context menu. You can later restore it by a single click on the home button or the activate home view context menu item. Also, ViewCube has rotation arrows now that rotate the current view 90 degrees either clockwise or counterclockwise with a simple click. Let's take a look at improvements for annotation and dimensions. First, are the center mark and center line commands. The center mark command creates a cross mark in the center of the selected circle or arc. And the center line command creates a center line between selected lines or polyline segments. Created entities are associated. Adjust spacing command adjusts the spacing between multiple dimensions. Simply select the base dimension line that the others will be spaced from. Select the dimension line you want to space and enter spacing distance to be applied between selected dimensions. Auto option is calculated based on the dimension text height. It equals two times the dimension text height. Quick dimension command creates a series of dimensions from selected entities. This command is very useful when dimensioning a series of entities. In addition, a new detail callout block type was added in the mLeader style command. Let's review new features for block management. Next two commands are very similar, block to xref and block replace. Both commands search the entire drawing for a specified block and replace it, with an xref when the block to xref command is used. and with an existing block when the block replace command is used. One more command related to the block functionality is the quick W block that allows user to quickly save selected entities into a new DWG file. IntelliCAD 11.1 also includes a few new enhancements for 3D modeling. FM Helix command creates a 3D Helix entity as a faucet model mesh. FM helices are created by specifying the base, top, turns, height or axis endpoint, and most important, the tube diameter. FM extrude command now supports extruding along a path. Surf Extract Curve command creates curves in the U and V directions on surfaces and 3D solids. The curves can be lines, polylines, arcs, or splines depending on the shape of the surface of 3D solid. Mesh Type System variable controls the type of mesh that is created for the following commands Edge Surf, Roll Surf, Tap Surf, and Ref Surf creates polygon or polyface mesh entities when set to 0 and current mesh entities when set to 1 by default. OBG and STL import now support geometry creation as sub-D mesh entities. And now let's take a look at how this works. Last but not least are a few general enhancements. Four new elements were added to the IntelliCAD Explorer. Table styles, multi-line styles, multi-leader styles, and visual styles. This gives you the opportunity to easily view and edit these elements or copy them to other drawing files.
The new font substitution dialog will appear when attempting to open drawings with missing SHX fonts. The three temporary entity snaps were added to the ribbon, menu, and toolbar, track point, from point, and meet between two points. Note that the temporary snap icons have an additional designator to help you remember that they are temporary snaps and work differently than regular snaps. Also, the undo option is available for the copy command. Name option was added for the layer delete command. The selection preview system variable default value is now set to 3. And you can now activate hyperlinks by using Ctrl plus click. New layer of or frozen notify system variable defines how user will be informed about changing entities to a frozen or off layer. User will not be informed at all when layer of or frozen notify is set to zero. When set to one, a notification appears in the message box. And in a balloon notification when set to two. For those using Artisan rendering, IntelliCAD 11.1 .1 provides an update to Artisan version 2022. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.